Uh, my name is Neil Fairs. I'm, um, I'm, I was a painter and decorator for 30 years, and now the last eight years I've been an organic gardener. Six certified, two years before, after an ultras visit with Tim Dean, that's the man who invented the veg box, well, along with some others. And uh, and we try to do we try to do their sort of our uh, the organic growers alliance or the people that we look up to and um, and and there are sort of mentors and uh, you know people like Tollers you know stock free gardening things like that they they um, you know we we run on on their sort of principles no dig but it's got to be certified because that's the only show in the road you know it may be very middle class. You know, when you ring up Bristol, you get Boris or Camilla on gap year. You know, we don't we don't really like that, but we can't do a lot about it. Yeah, but it's good. It's it's sound. It's pure. It's the right thing. We, you know, people moan about spending four hundred pound a year. So do they put spend more than that on fags. You know, it's this it's the right thing to do. It's it's just there is only one way out of it, and that is organic. The Soil Association are really upset in the government as well. They're being inspected every six weeks. Did you know that? They're inspecting them every six weeks. And that is, a, that is part of like, you know, some sort of thing off DEFRA. And, and they just cheesed them off because basically, they've, they've, in 07, the beginning of 07, they've done this thing called Silent Invasion, which we always knew that GM has come through the back door in animal feed, but what we didn't know was the extent. And, and this is true, apparently, 70% of the imported GM, uh, the imported soya and maize is contaminated with up to 50% GM. And now Monsanto is in the bloody courts now, taking DNA testings of meat up and down the country in supermarkets, some organic, and apparently this DNA is coming out that they've got traces of GM. And instead of us suing them, they're trying to sue the farmers. Is that crazy or what? What's it all about? And, and the th same things are going on in Europe. They're now saying in Europe that they're thrilled to bits that they've got the... When you go to a farmer's market, a farmer's... No, not a farmer's market. Merchant. A merchant. Feed merchant. Feed merchant. You, you now, they say, this does not contain GM, right? And now the labelling, it's gone over to Europe and they're, they're now allowed the same labelling in Europe. And they're saying, this is fantastic. No, it isn't. It's negative labelling. Because basically, they should say that it contains GM, not that it doesn't contain GM. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So in other words, it's, 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 not, it's not accurate in any shape or... Mm. Right? These are Sakura tomatoes, right? Mm -hmm. F1s. And these F1s, they, they, the reason they're here on their own is because what we're going to try and do is take seed from all three, plant them next year, see what comes out. If there's anything good that comes out, we will then grow from them. So them seed, next year's seed should stay yeah. true. Yeah. Because F1 always reverts back. But it's not just sweet though, is it? You with me? It's got flavour with it as well. And, and, and they have these huge trusses and the, the truss comes down there and carries right on. Mm. They can be a metre plus long. And they're full of, you know... Do you know what's grown in this? Compost tea. It's all we put on it, compost tea. Plenty of rotations, compost tea. Piece of piss. <laughs>